what's going on everybody and welcome to your 36th HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be discussing about nth child CSS pseudo selector and in the last couple of tutorials we learned about some of the pseudo selectors in CSS like hover, active, empty and invalid, valid and so on and in this tutorial I have made a full separate tutorial for the nth child because it is kind of special so let's see why I am stressing so much on this and how you can basically use it in your code so first of all let me create a unordered list let's say this is a list about programming languages then we have Java why not JavaScript? Then we have Python and PHP as well, and that should be good enough. So we have a bunch of programming languages here in the unordered list, and if I view it on the browser, then it looks something like this. S okay, so what we do want to do is we want to let's say you want to style every second item in the list with some other color so what we can do is we can go to our style.css file we'll get li put a colon to indicate that it's a uh, pseudo selector now and we'll write nth child now this nth child what it would do is it would accept a kind of parameter which would accept a number and this number refers to your index starting from 1 so li nth child 1 means select every li whose which is basically first in the parent so if I reload uh, let's apply some styles before I reload that and now if I reload this then you see that this becomes red and li nth child right here one would apply to any li which is a parent of or basically has a parent so basically li nth child one means that the parent of this li these li's the first nth the first child which is an ally should have these styles so this ul is the parent of all these allies and first child the nth child one means that first child of the parent which is an ally right here should have these styles applied and so they are so let's take a look at some more uh, informative example which would help you to understand what this actually is doing and let's say we create some tables to work with and let's say what you say serial number for the first one and then we have or th actually programming languages and let's say we do a percentage expertise level so this is a kind of your resume type of thing so now let's give td as one c++ any programming language would go and hundred person maybe tr td2 c hundred percent you see I'm so good and then we have got java and not zero let's say ten because I'm not that much into java you see and then we have got Python and I love Python so this should be 100% and let's do one more 
because this won't be complete without all time favorite PHP and that would be obviously 100% okay so we have got this table right here and let's reload to see what we have got so this is a nice little table we have got right here on the document and I'll just use some CSS to apply some border to it table and tr td two pixels solid black okay so we have got a nah this won't work okay so we have got this border around it which doesn't look much nice but it's good for now let's remove that from td or I think let's just make use of the HTML attributes but don't use them on your production site because these attributes are deprecated okay so we have got this two pixel border with the help of border attribute which is deprecated so don't use it on the production side instead use some CSS and I've just used it to speed up what I was doing so now let's say you want to organize this table a little bit so what we can do is first of all we'll select every tr and we'll do background of a little grayish so every tr right now is a little grayish but I want that every second tr should be white so that would give us a nice little effect so one thing I can do is either I can go ahead and apply a class to each of one each one of them or what I can do is I'll, I can type nth child and inside this when I type odd and I reload this oops I guess I have to change the background and I reload this now you see every odd which is 1 3 5 gets changed to white background and if I do even here even and reload this then we get two four six as the white background and what does that signify is it is selecting every TR of table parent which is even in number that means this first TR means one second means two third means three and remember that nth child indexing begins from one so there's nothing nth child zero here okay so one thing we have got another thing is n now this n now before odd and even we were doing like numbers so tr n child one refers to this one if i change it to two then it refers to second row and so on so what if you want to customize odd and even uh, the odd and even keywords a little bit so you would like only one in three rows to be background of white so we can do that by making use of this n n alphabet and this n basically is a dynamic is a multiple shows a multiple so 2n basically refers to 2 into 1 and the next time it would refer to 2 into 2 so first time it would say okay select tr which is nth child 2 the next time it would select tr nth child 4 next time tr nth child 6 and it will go on unless uh, or basically it would go on till how many tr elements are there in the document so when I reload this you see that I get background applied on 2 4 and 6 so this is a kind of a more programmatic alternative of your even one and what if I do 2n plus 1 now this 2n plus 1 signifies that every second element but next to every second element so in the first one it would select this one 2n plus 1 then in the next one it would select 2n plus 1 so when I reload this we get this one because when it sets uh, n to 0 then we get 2 0 plus 1 as 0 for 1 it gets 2 0 plus 1 as this row then this row so 
we could do like also like 3 and plus 1 and if I reload this then only we get this row and this row and any guesses if I do just n right here what would happen if I reload it with just n any wild guesses yeah so when I will reload this then what would happen is since this n refers to any digit starting from 0 to the number of tr elements then this would basically means uh, basically mean just like this statement so this doesn't make any sense right here so I can basically exclude it or include it so when I reload this you see that every row is converted into white background so this has got a higher specificity than this one so this these styles would apply so that was a quick little tutorial on nth child in CSS and I hope you learned something from it and that's all for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you then.